Alrighty, so I ran a test a little while ago of the temperature stability of Stayball Match. Today I want to test Stayball 6.5. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and load up some rounds with 39.5 grains of Stayball 6.5 and the 112 Match burner from Barnes and my 6GT. Now we're going to go ahead and have three of them shot at room temperature, which room temperature that day was like 62 degrees. Um, then I went ahead and took three of them and put them in my refrigerator at 35 degrees, left them in there for a few hours. And then I went with 125 degrees in my sous vide, uh, which I went ahead and double vacuum sealed them this time because I was a little bit worried about some water incursion last time. And so I think that's going to solve that problem. So room temp about 60 or 70 degrees. 35 degrees and then about 125 and we're going to get out on the range all the same load and we're going to go shoot them and we're going to see how the uh, the velocity varies from temperature to temperature so let's get out there all righty we're out here on the range trying to test the temperature stability of stay ball 65 this is my 24 inch seek and havoc hit chairman and 6 gt targets at 100 yards we're getting velocity through our elaborator that's what really matters here that dot you see we're going to shoot at the same one for all three shot groups it is half inch little breeze off the left um, we're going to shoot the room temperature loads first now these were loaded and they were resting at room temperature about 65 degrees for a couple of hours now they've been sitting on the bench here as i've been getting set up now it's about 70 degrees outside so these are somewhere between 65 and 70 degrees so pretty standard for what temperature you might run into if it's a nice day shooting this is what I would consider the control. That's why we're going to shoot first because the gun is cool. Now these should come out about 2,900 feet per second um, via what we've had in the past. All right, so again, we're going to get velocity through our lab radar. The other rounds, I've got three in the fridge, which after I shoot these, I'm going to go pull them straight out of the refrigerator and go into the gun. And then the other ones are at 125 degrees in my sous vide. So again, they're going to come straight out and go into the gun. So the minimal time between when the, the rounds come out of whatever temperature they're in to shooting them. So first shot here, and these are the uh, kind of the control or the room temperature. Twenty nine thirty eight for the first one. Twenty nine twenty eight for the second one. And 29.25. Okay, so like I promised, I'm going to go grab the ones off of the refrigerator. Alright, so those three came straight out of the refrigerator. They're starting to get a little bit of condensation on them. Which makes sense because the humidity is relatively high. So I'm going to try to get these in and shoot them relatively quickly. Okay. So these are the refrigerator rounds. These were my refrigerator, it was 35 degrees, and the rounds were in there for about two hours. That one was a little hard to pull out of the kind of a tight bolt left. 2948. That one was a tight bolt left as well. That was 2914. Kind of a sticky bolt lift too. Now I'm not sure if the sticky bolt lift is from the condensation. We were a little lower on our charge, or not our charge, our velocity overall. So the um, so far we had 2930 average for the room temperature. We had 29.23 average for our cold rounds. Now, interesting to note, we had a big SD on our cold rounds. So I'm not sure what that's all about. All right, last thing, I'm gonna go grab our rounds out of the sous vide. And those are the hot 125 degree rounds. We're gonna test those. All right, so those just came out. They're nice and warm. Gonna load those in. Now I double bagged them this time to make sure we didn't have any water intrusion. So I'm fairly sure we're not gonna have any water intrusion. So let me just go ahead and make a new series. And we're gonna shoot these hot rounds, 125 degrees for about two hours. Okay, 
2946 and we messed our group up there and that one was also pretty hot 2976 so definitely things not real stable as far as overall consistency goes yeah that one we had 2958 so you'll see all three of them on the screen room temperature 2930 cold 2923 and then hot 2958 so that's really not too bad and until that last shot the group was looking pretty good so we'll get over to the bench and we'll talk about it all right so what we're looking at here is obviously our our group now this is a nine shot group with three at room temp three cold and three hot as you can see the group's not really great we did try to group most of them together but we had those two that kind of flew we had one that flew up high and one that flew to the right 1.4 inch group overall at 100 yards not really all that impressive, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. The match burners haven't shot really amazing. It was a decent load, but I'm more concerned about the velocity. As you can see up there, um, velocity numbers on the screen, our coldest round shot 29.23 with a 21.8 SD. Our room temp rounds shot 29.30 with an SD of 6.6. And our hot rounds shot at 29.58 with a 15.4 SD. So small sample size here but it looks like we had roughly 30 feet per second or sorry we had almost 40 feet per second swing from 35 degrees to about 125 degrees so whether that's good or bad you guys can make up your mind but i think it's quite stable for a ball powder now the thing that concerns me more about this but again with three shot groups it's tough to say our room temp we had our best sd at 6.6 um, then our cold bullets were the worst at 21.8 and then our hot one's also not great at 15.4. So I'd have to test a big sample size to see if this is true, but potentially um, the consistency of ignition is gonna be better at that middle of the road temperature. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanna keep doing some more of these tests. I think I'm gonna test Vargit next because Vargit's a very temperature stable powder, just to get kind of a baseline. Um, I'd like to do bigger sample sizes as well, but today I just wanted to do three shot groups. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next week.